Thank you very much, guys. This is season delivered translation. And this POG will be Kenya Nugri from Daman Gaming taking down Team Dynamics 2 0. How do you feel, guys? I'm happy that we won fast. And, you know, we have some matches left, but still, I'm happy that we won today. What about you, Nugri? Well, it's been a while since I carried a game, so it's really nice. <laughs> Congratulations on the um, eight match winning streak as well. And how much gaming you guys are trying something new with the draft. For example, Azir and Showmaker and first pick Karma. Were you guys trying to learn some new recipe for winning co coming into the playoffs? Well, during the um, screams, well, we also have some of the um, favorite picks, but we always try to practice and experiment other picks. And today was the name to kind of pull it off on competitive games. Yeah, for Azir and other picks, was that the player's opinion or was that the team's decision? For example, the Azir pick on Showmaker. Around the team, <laughs> we were giving some pressure over to Showmaker. <laughs> <laughs> Kenyon, you said you ended this game really early and you are the core player that enabled this kind of speed out of Daman Gaming because you are so ahead in the jungle. Was that all predicted and calculated? Not really. We, I thought he's going to go for three camps on his jungle. But luckily I met him in the red buff jungle so I was able to get a kill. And thanks to that, Nugri was also having a very comfortable laning phase. So we had a very split vote between top and jungle in that game. So Kenyan who set it everything up or who, whether it's Nugri, who carried the game with that Zobal. I think I deserve the POG for game one because I made Rek'Sai to GG in the um, level one, level two. I mean, Whenever we ask him this kind of a question, he used to be super humble. So I, I thought he's going to say Nugri deserves the POG. But yeah, for me, it's true. Because Rek'Sai died in a such, such an early phase, I was able to have a very comfortable lane phase. In game number two, we saw Karma coming out from Kar um, Taman Gaming. And you guys don't really pick it. Was that designated for Feral in the beginning? <laughs> because I mean, a lot of fans were thinking that Nugri, you won't be, you won't like picking Karma, and also Showmaker won't prefer Karma as well. I mean, we practiced Karma a lot, and it was a flex pick for all three roles. <laughs> We even thought Ghost playing um, bottom Karma because he did last year. And you played Renekton with offensive item build this time around. You were just like going full attack mode. What was the reason for your itemization? I think Rascal is a great Renekton player, so I learned a lot from him. So I used to go with Black Cleaver and Tiamat up against the ranged champion, but Rascal has been building Play, play the Ruined King, and so I tried it in Screams, and I think, yeah, it kind of gives him more option, and also it guarantees him a lot of damage, so I was kind of following Rascal's style. So we <laughs> heard you saying walk walk when you were like putting in the stuns on the enemy champions. What was that? Whenever I play Renekton, that's something I say. So I didn't really know that I was saying that today as well. Walk walk definitely a meme from a Korean streamer who's really good at Renekton. And Nugri, you got a lot of solo kills. And also you got the tier 2 turret on the top lane at 9 minute mark. And we saw that Nugri training. Because... So you always go for the hard more training. Even though you get a solo kill, you always try to go for a very difficult situation. So was that intended in the beginning? 
I mean, I realized that I am not performing well during the lane phase, during the practice. So if I kind of try more things in a very hard situation, I kind of get to improve myself. And in game number one and two, the top side was having a lot of lead, but bottom lane was suffering a little bit. They started off in a bad situation, but I mean, the top side was having a huge lead, so we were like, cheer up, bottom lane. What did Ghost say? Nothing special. <laughs> the game was yeah, pretty much over on the top side of the map, to be honest. And we saw an article saying that Rich, who has to carry and versus Nogri, who now has took up some of the burden on his shoulder. Today, I played two Renekton's, which means I trust my teammates a lot. I think it is all reflected in our draft. But you did carry today. Yeah, I had some lucky and good situation for me. Outside of the games, Nuggery, you are the idol of the top laners. All the top laners are saying that you, I want to get closer to Nuggery. And you said you actually learned from Rascal about the rhetoric to play, so who do you want to get closer to in, here in the LCK? I mean, everyone is really attractive, but Doran is really fun, you know? His per personality is really funny. I want to meet him in person and also Kana. So, yeah. I can also, we can have a really good bonding between Kana as well. However, you have to face up against Kana in the upcoming T1 series. What's your mindset for that game? In T1, their style shifted a lot. And I think Kana is really good at getting solo kills and he's more solid during the laning phase and he's like showing more of a sharper style of the gaming play. So I have to prepare a lot for that game. Kenyon, what's your mindset facing up against Cuz in the jungle? He's really aggressive recently and yeah, I think he's really making sharp decisions. So I think I have to get back to uh, the drawing board and practice a lot. So this was the interview with Kenyon Degree from Taman Gaming. And thank you very much for this interview.